When power supplies are connected in parallel, the voltage remains the same, but the current or the amp hour capacity will be increased. Let's take a look at these next graphics. Um, we have a battery and we take, let's say, the positive terminal and we connect it over to the positive terminal. We take the negative terminal, connect it over to the negative terminal. And in a battery, in a car, electrons, well, I ain't going to get into that because I get confused in the whole thing. I just know that that's negative and that's positive. This is what, black, and that's red. But what we have is, if this is 12 volts and this is 12 volts, you connect them parallel, we end up having what? Still 12 volts. But I just have that much more capacity. So, so like if I was going to hook up a light, let's say I was going to hook up a light, a 12 volt light. Well, if it was going to last, let's say, an hour and a half with one battery, if I connect them in parallel, I still have the 12 volt light. But now it's going to operate what? For three hours. I have a greater amount of capacity. And, if, and this is when we jump cars, we don't connect the batteries in series, connect the batteries in parallel. We want 12 volts. Connect 12 volts. Do you guys have any, any tips, suggestions on, on jumping batteries? You know, I sometimes, well, I'm sorry, man. I really can't help you out. I got a car, a new car, and the electronics will get wiped out. What do you guys, do you guys have any experience with, you know? Well, the key is always red to red, black to black. My next door neighbor has had a young boy who was going to help another neighbor, and he jumped her to a lady's car, and when the fire truck left, the car was totaled <laughs> because he, he, he connected black to red, red to he black. He actually caused a fire? It, the things welded because he couldn't you, get it off. You, the, the, a battery can generate thousands of amps for a short mm -hmm. time. That's that's why you can start you know cranking power. He couldn't get them off, and the car caught on fire. So that would be my one advice: make sure it's red to red, black to black. I hadn't thought about the possibility that it, that the, it it got so hot it arced and welded that you yeah. now can't take it off, and then you got to yeah. start running. Say, yeah. and you say, listen, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your car burns down. <laughs> Whose car was his car? Whose car burned down? His car or her car? The neighbor's. The neighbor's An car burned another down. Another neighbor, yeah. 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 You just back up your car and just leave. Yes. Uh, Bob? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Mike, I, another tip on jumping off your car. I've always heard that it's a good idea to connect the black lead last and connect it to the frame of the car. Yeah. That way you keep it away from the battery, which is a source of hydrogen production. Mm -hmm. And if the battery's gassing off hydrogen and you created an arc Most right there, of the time blow I it do up. that. I'll, I'll put it right in. But you know, today's car is a lot of times hard to find something right. hard to metal find to connect metal. it to. Yes. But you know what? In my class, I've taught for many, many years. There are, I'm so surprised, batteries are blowing up all the time. This is not like it happened once in a great moon. I bet you in a class of 100, I bet you there has to be 10 or 12 people that personally were involved and a battery exploding. Wow, man. Jimmy? Yeah, I was um, working on a vehicle and was charging the battery to do compression check afterwards and jumping across the uh, solenoid, I had a battery explode. Whoa. It was a brand new battery. And uh, uh, somebody and I know recently just had a brand new battery explode. Brand new battery, it was the same thing, it was like boom. So we gotta be yeah. real careful. Ronnie, you have any comments at all on that? No, okay. I've never had one explode. Boy, so I mean, it makes me, you know, that's it, sulfuric acid coming on your body there, that's, that's not good stuff. All right, let's take a look at the final thing on this graphic. You'll see batteries connected in parallel because they want to have this radial run, what, a little longer. So they're connected in parallel. 